Yeah, I do remember the movie. Was it really? Good evening. At this time, I'd like to call into session the Village of Westmont official village voting village board meeting for April 17th, 2006, and call upon our clerk to please take the roll call. Mayor Ron? Here. The clerk's here. Trustee Fidesco? Here. Trustee Fleming? Here. Trustee Forsley? Here. Trustee Clevenow? Here. Trustee Martins? Here. Trustee Seneca? Here. Manager Searle? Here. Attorney Zimanek? Here. Here. Economic Development Director Kimball. Here. Deputy Police Chief Mulhern. Here. Finance Collector Pinzak. Here. Village Planner Spengler. Here. Thank you. Would you all please rise and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First item on our agenda before we answer that phone call is <laughs> the minutes of the Committee of the Whole meeting held March 30th and the board meeting held April 3rd, 2006. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? Roll call, please. Trustee Seneca? Yes. Trustee Clevino? Yes. Trustee Fleming? Sorry. Yes. Trustee Martin? Present. Trustee Forsley? Present. Trustee Fidesco? Yes. Moving right along, reports. Uh, the mayor, I have nothing to report at this moment. Uh, next will be our village clerk. I have nothing. Uh, next, our village attorney, John Zemanek. I'd like to request an executive session for land acquisition, and that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, finally, our village manager, Ron Searle. Um, <clears throat> thank you. I'd just like to add to that a request for executive session for per personnel. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Uh, new business, police pension board appointment. Board to consider a motion to approve the reappointment of Tom Kennedy to the police pension board for a two-year term. From May 1st, 2006 through April 30th, 2008. We have a motion. So moved. Second. Discussion? Roll call, please. Trustee Fleming? Yes. Trustee Martins? Yes. Trustee Podesco? Yes. Trustee Klebano? Yes. Trustee Seneca? Yes. Trustee Forsley? Yes. Okay. Next item, Veterans of Foreign Wars Poppy Day. Board to consider a motion to approve a request which we receive annually from the Westmont Memorial VFW Post 9267 and Ladies Auxiliary, seeking permission to distribute buddy poppies on Thursday, May 25th at various locations throughout the village of Westmont. <clears throat> Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, roll call, please. Trustee Martins? Yes. Trustee Forsley? Yes. Trustee Fidesco? Yes. <clears throat> Seneca? Yes. Trustee Clevenow? Present. Trustee Fleming? Yes. Okay. Next item, Engineering Inspection Services Agreement. Board to consider an ordinance approving an engineering agreement for inspection services for the 2006 CMAC sidewalk project. Most to approve. Second. Discussion? Roll call, please. Trustee Forsley? Yes. Trustee Martins? Yes. Trustee Podesco? Yes. Trustee Clevenow? Yes. Trustee Fleming? Yes. Trustee Seneca? Yes. Okay. 2006 Events and Eateries Guide. Board to consider a motion approving a promote Westmont Commission recommendation to fund the 2006 Event and Eateries Guide at a cost of $2,142. So moved. Second. Discussion? Roll call, please. Trustee Forsley? Yes. Trustee Seneca? Yes. Trustee Fleming? Yes. Trustee Martins? Yes. Trustee Podesco? Yes. Trustee Clevenow? Yes. Next item, annual backflow inspection fee change. Board to consider an ordinance approving a request from staff to increase the annual backflow device inspection fee from $50 to $125 fee. Motion to approve. Do we have a motion? A second? On the question.
Hearing no further, no further questions other than what was discussed at your meeting on Thursday evening, which we will take a roll call, please. Thank you. Trustee Fidesco. Yes. Trustee Clavino. Yes. Trustee Fleming. Yes. Trustee Martins. Yes. Trustee Forsley. Yes. Trustee Seneca. Mm, yes. Mm. Train Depot RFP. Board to consider approval of the following items. A, an ordinance granting conceptual approval for the license of space at the Westmont Train Depot by Hinsdale Bank and Trust operating as Clarendon Hills Bank for the operation of an ATM machine. B, an ordinance granting conceptual approval for the license of space at the Westmont Train Depot by National City Bank for the operation of an ATM. And C, an ordinance granting conceptual approval for the license of space at the Westmont Train Depot by Craig Pro of Brood Awakening for the operation of a coffee slashed baked goods kiosk. Motion to approve A. <coughs> Second. Discussion. Yeah. Uh, Mayor, I'd like to point out that today we received a phone call from a bank here in Westmont, I think I believe it was Park Federal Bank. And uh, they expressed an interest in being able to submit um, a response to the RFP. Um, we did not uh, include them in the initial solicitation. Um, as you recall, this is the second time we've actually done the solicitation. But I wanted to point that out. I didn't know if the board wanted to consider uh, delaying action on um, um, you know, any of these items to, to let us solicit further responses, that's a possibility, or if you want to go ahead with uh, a decision on the proposals we've received. In my uh, discussions today with Manager Searle and Economic Development uh, Kimball, um, it came to my understanding that there are other banks in quite a number of other banks in Westmont that were not notified regarding potential interest in going into this space. So I think in order to be fair and square, if, if it's according to the board's wishes, we might want to um, hold off on this and uh, give these other banks an, an opportunity to respond if they're so inclined to uh, do so for that space. Well, I, thought in the, I thought in the first go around that not only, <clears throat> not only were these particular banks Involved, but LaSalle was contacted as well as First DuPage, and there was no response from either one right. of those entities. Right. So I think we kind of assumed that no one else would be interested either. Right. And I mean, I, you know, I understand Park Federal or whatever coming forward at this point in time, and, and I appreciate that, but I mm -hmm. think I think we got a pretty good offer on the table from what we're looking at. And I'm not sure that Park Federal is even going to be able to come close to what the one banking entity is is offering right now. Is there any idea who hasn't been notified of the banks? I mean, I don't know well, how they were notified. I, I, oh. I accept responsibility for the shortcoming here. In my zeal to uh, cover all the bases that we did as a result of the first RFP, we perhaps didn't send out a list as comprehensive as we should have. We, we certainly covered the banks that had expressed some sort of an interest previously, and uh, I think it was 38 other real estate brokers, uh, business owners, and uh, developers, but uh, we, we did not make an attempt to go through and identify each and every bank that had a branch in Westmont, and perhaps we should have uh, looking back on that now. That would have been the best course of action. Could I How ask many a did question? we notify? How many um, banks did four. we? Four. Did, did we publish? No. We did not publish. We, we did not publish. It's an RFP and we didn't publish. Mm -hmm. We're not required We're to, not though, are we? Required, no, we're we did not to. do it either. Okay, well, I was just asking if we did. Mm -hmm. We didn't. Okay. I, I, would, I would personally like to go back and give the other banks a chance. I, I just don't. I'm uncomfortable now because the money is out there, and I don't like the idea of a, uh, competing against it, so I just wonder if we, um, I don't know how it's go around it, but I feel bad that uh, we could have had a, a local bank, someplace I might even bank at someday. So. I'd hate to lose the one offer that we have on the table by postponing this again. That would be my concern. So I, I think this is second time around. If banks were interested, they would have been calling, they would have been notifying us, they would have been proactive 
if they really wanted it. You wouldn't be waiting for an RFP is what you're saying. Yes. And the, you know, the offer's on the table, and I agree with Trustee Clevenow, it's on the table. Now you go back, how long is it going to take another month? I don't know how long we want to give, and then, you know, you postpone it again, and then you're, we haven't, you know, we've done it, and we're not required to do the RFP. We, we try to, good faith, we try to do that. It's unfortunate the situation that occurred, but we have a legitimate offer on the table. I think we go with what's on the table. But when you say the second time, were they ever notified the first time? The first time it was published, which was about and 18 months ago. 18 months ago, before I was on. And we did not get a good response from banks in town at that time. No, we didn't. As a matter of fact, we were very surprised. We were very surprised that we did not get a response from several of the other banking institutions in town. That was that was the other part that kind of caught us a little off guard because we thought for sure that a couple of those would give a response, but they gave no response at all. They were not even at the meeting. Mm -hmm. And I mean, honestly, National City was here from the get go, and I can't honestly remember who the other. In the, fir in the first round of the RFP, trustee, we did receive uh, four bids for our uh, ATMs, and that was from uh, Clarendon Hills Bank, right. National City Bank, First DuPage Bank, and LaSalle Bank, and okay. those were the only responding entities to that first RFP about 18 months ago. And then I think part of the discussion at that point in time was the, the number of transactions, and it was based on a transaction scenario. Mm -hmm. So then this time we went around and were basically looking for a a basic fee instead of a number of transactions. So your they weren't notified again then? They, they weren't? We, we did not publish it the second time, although we did send it to any that responded the first time, giving them a second opportunity. So LaSalle got something. So LaSalle did get something. Page. First yes, page did get something. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Well, we got several on the south side, too, then, that mm -hmm. didn't know about it, unless they happened to be reading the paper. Or how didn't know about it this time. Yeah. But they did know about it the first time and didn't send anything or they should have known about it the first time if they were reading the papers and because we did publish it. So, and we didn't get anything from first to page of LaSalle this time. That's correct. Okay, so what's the opinion? We'll do a straw poll vote of the village board whether we want to go, go back again and republish or move ahead. Can I, with can I make one other comment? As it's I, before us. Sure. And correct me if I'm wrong, Fred, but before we did the second um, round, there was a particular business that for months on end was contacting us with an interest in that space. Mm -hmm. um, they already had um, space in another facility and they were absolutely certain that they were going to be you know, competitive and interested. We sent them yes, we did. a request. Yes, we did. After all of that, they never even responded the second time. So I guess what I'm suggesting is even though this one bank has now expressed interest, I guess there's no guarantee <laughs> that they're even going to respond uh, once they see the parameters of the RFP. Right. And then we already have the, public, the numbers that these other potential occupants have already put on the table. Well, so now you have, you're, you're at a disadvantage if you're one of those particular right. individuals or companies. Someone can come in and outbid you if you want. Doesn't to call mean it that, that we'd necessarily go with that one, though. No. Nothing says we have to go with them. I guess the only thing we would mention, Your Honor, is that th this time with the RFP, we made every attempt to recontact and, and resubmit to all of those who had earlier expressed an interest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a tough one. I, I would personally like it to stay local, but. Okay. I, would, I would, too. I, I agree. I, I would like to stay local. But I think, in fairness, we do have something on the table. And we, we didn't have any success the first time. We're going through the second time, and all of a sudden I'm now, just go ahead and after the, the fact, then, right? I, okay. I, I just think in fairness and, and doing things what I'd like to see the right way, it's on the table. We go with what's, what was given to us. <clears throat> I guess that's, that's, you're at straw poll. Okay. I guess you know where I'm coming from. <laughs> <laughs> the only other comment is if, if you're voting tonight, we've got, you know, A and B are two ATM users, 
and we decided we'd only have one there. So vote one up and one down if that's your pleasure. Don't approve two. <laughs> <laughs> Any further discussion? Uh, with that, with that being said, we'll uh, call for a vote on item A. Trustee Forsley. No. Trustee Fidesco. No. Trustee Martins. No. Trustee Fleming. No. Trustee Clevenau. No. Trustee Seneca. No. Okay. Point B. An ordinance granting conceptual approval for the license of the space at the Westmont Train Depot by National City Bank for the operation of an ATM. We have a motion. So moved. Second. Discussion? Um, John, I have a question. I mean, this is a very lucrative offer, a very good one, or at least appears to be. Would they have an out clause if the volume ended up not being what they had anticipated? Would they be locked into three years? Or? Yes. So they'd be locked into three years, even Correct. if the volume. And then also, Trustee, I think, uh, if, John, if I understand the flexibility that we have in the RFP process, once the board makes a conceptual selection, we are permitted to negotiate with that uh, successful petitioner and try to get them up to that five-year uh, period on, on the initial contract that I think some of the, the members of the board mentioned at the last mm -hmm. discussion. Right. I think one of the reasons that National City Bank may be interested in our particular location is, as I mentioned during their presentation, they're going into a new facility at Fairview and Ogden Avenue, and this would certainly be in close proximity, and they would like to capture as much of the local business as they can, and that's an excellent opportunity for them, especially at a train station, for additional exposure of their business. Any other uh, further questions? Roll call, please. Trustee Seneca? Yes. Trustee Klebanow? No. Trustee Fleming? Yes. Trustee Martins? Yes. Trustee Forsley? Yes. Trustee Fidesco? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Point C. An ordinance granting conceptual approval for the license of space uh, by Craig Pro of Brood Awakening for the operation of a coffee baked goods kiosk. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? Didn't you mention E yet? Wouldn't this be a special use permit? Uh, actually, just the opposite. Okay. The, uh, the ATMs are special use. This is your typical, just typical retail use in the, in the B1 district, right? Okay. And no. we would require them to have all appropriate insurance. I mean, if someone were scalded with hot coffee or <laughs> that we wouldn't be liable. Right. And they'll have to work through the health department to make sure they're approved and... I love this idea. This is a great idea. Again, is there a um, time span for them? I forgot it wasn't it. Uh... Three years, I believe, is what they proposed. Also at three hundred dollars a month. So three hundred or three hundred and fifty. It's three hundred. Three hundred. They want to say three hundred. But yeah, we'll have a standard license agreement, which will be similar to a lease. And uh, have all that good insurance, so language indemnification, et cetera. They'll prepare the coffee at the restaurant across the street right. and then just bring it over already right. brewed. And some baked goods, et cetera, scones, nice. muffins, whatever. Good idea. So they're still not going to be using that room? Correct. Still empty. Still open. The room is still open. <laughs> cool. Keep working. <laughs> so could we set it up so that approval... Who? Is dependent Steve. is dependent upon their getting Steve. all the necessary certifications from the DuPage County Health Department as part of the okay. approval. Uh, right now, you're just giving conceptual approval, okay. and then we're going to get this back in front of you to approve the license agreement, which we probably won't execute until okay. they have uh, the, you know the health department approvals that they need, or in the case of the ATMs, the special use approval. Right. Okay, um, that's fine because they do have some strange regulations, and <laughs> there, there may be something affecting his doing this that would uh, perhaps make him decide not to do it. Well, he did mention the other night that he did contact the DuPage County Health Department, and he felt that he could obtain the proper permission or proper yeah. licensing. Okay, but 
Okay, any other further questions? Roll call, please. Mm -hmm. Trustee Forsley? Yes. Trustee Fadesco? Yes. Trustee Martins? Yes. Trustee Fleming? Yes. Trustee Seneca? Yes. Trustee Clevenow? Yes. Next item, plat recording fees. Board to consider an ordinance approving a request from staff to set the fees charged by the village when the clerk's office records plats on behalf of the developer at a fee of $250. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? Now, the developer then has no, he doesn't have to do this at all. It would automatically be done by us if I understood there was a discussion. It's not an option, in other words. Yeah, that's, that's why we're doing this, is to take it out of their hands so that they don't sit for two years before they record the document. And, and from the one example that you gave, that was a, they were thankful in the sense, one less thing that they have to worry about. Yeah. So, I thought that was a good idea. Trustee, I'll go ahead. Um, to answer your question more fully, the, the developer is still responsible for the preparation of the plat of survey and the mylar, and to get the signatures that they have to, they then bring it into the village. We get the signatures from our end and make the filing on their behalf. Okay. Do when we, would this be done? When, when do you get all these signatures? Just before they put it on the market for sale? I'm trying to remember the uh, it, it would have. To, yeah, that's a good question, Trustee. It would have to be before they put it on the market for sale because otherwise they can't convey a clear title to the property uh, unless they have the plat of subdivision recorded. So are we doing this once we do an occupancy? That's what I'm trying to figure out. When do we jump in and do this? Let's say the thing's not going to be on the market for a little while for some reason. We still go ahead and immediately... We would file it as soon as we've gotten it from the developer, and they have to do that before we could give them a CO, definitely. Okay, well, I, so thought, we have to I thought the plat of survey had to be done, like, right from the get-go. But it's not the plat of survey, and I think he misspoke. He meant the plat of subdivision. So, I'm sorry. Yeah. The, you know, they go through preliminary plat approval, and then they get final plat approval. And one, and once they get their final plat approval, um, the language of the statute or of this ordinance says that uh, it shall be recorded within 30 days of issuance of the development permit. So when they get. Uh, Get through all, all their approvals, post their LOS, their letter of credit, etc., and then they bring in the final plat, and we get it recorded. Is there a difference when it goes recording, depending on whether it's a multifamily large development compared to a single-family home? No. Okay. Any other questions? Roll call, please. <clears throat> Trustee Fidesco. Yes. Trustee Clevenow. Yes. Trustee Fleming? Yes. Trustee Martins? Yes. Trustee Forsley? Yes. Trustee Sunny? Yes. Next item, award a bid. Board had considered an ordinance awarding bid to James D. Fiala, Company Incorporated Bolingbrook, for the 2006 maintenance mm -hmm. program, MFT 06-00000-01 GM. <laughs> With a low bid of three hundred eighty thousand seven hundred and sixty-four dollars and fifteen cents. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion. Hearing none. Roll call, please. Trustee Forsley. Yes. Trustee Seneca. Yes. Trustee Fidesco. Yes. Trustee Martins. Yes. Trustee Fleming. <laughs> yes. Trustee Clevenow. Yes. Engineering Material <coughs> Testing and Inspection Services Agreement. Board to consider an ordinance granting approval of an engineering agreement for material testing and inspection services for the 2006 maintenance program, MFT 06 one gm Is there anything to be official? Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? Hearing no discussion, uh, roll call, please. Trustee Martins? Yes. Trustee Fleming? Yes. Trustee Seneca? Yes. Trustee Forsley? Yes. Trustee Fidesco? Yes. Trustee Clevenow? Yes. Okay. The next item uh, should read as follows. Sickage Professional Services Agreement. Board to consider an ordinance granting approval of a professional services agreement with Sickage Professional Services for providing the services of a temporary accountant. So moved. Second. 
And the question? Roll call, please. Trustee Forsley. Yes. Trustee Martins. Yes. Trustee Fidesco. Yes. Trustee Clebanel. Yes. Trustee yes. Seneca. Trustee Fleming. Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Next item, 255 West 55th Street, Board to Consider Resolution Declaring Village-Owned Property at 255 West 55th Street as Surplus Real Estate and Authorizing the Sale of Said Property. So moved. Second. Discussion? Roll call, please. Trustee Seneca? Yes. Trustee Forsley? Yes. Trustee Klebanow? Yes. Trustee Fidesco? Yes. Trustee Martins? Yes. Trustee Fleming? Yes. Next item, Waste Management Contract. Board to consider an ordinance approving a contract for residential and commercial solid waste collection and disposal services with Waste Management of Illinois Incorporated. So move. Second. Discussion? Roll call, please. Trustee, for, uh, Trustee Klebanow? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Trustee Seneca? Yes. Trustee Fleming? Yes. Trustee Martins? Yes. Trustee Forsley? Yes. Trustee Sen Fidesco? <laughs> my mouth this. is getting all tied up. <laughs> Did you say yes? <laughs> no, I excuse myself from this vote. Oh, okay. Miscellaneous. <clears throat> we have before us on this 17th day of April 2006 a finance ordinance in the amount of $806,137.62. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, discussion on finance ordinance number 24. Hearing no discussion, roll call. Please. Trustee Fleming. Yes. Trustee Klebanow. Yes. Trustee Seneca. Yes. Trustee Fidesco. Yes. Trustee Forsley. Yes. Trustee Martins. Yes. Purchase orders. Motion to approve is a block for $108,749.86. Second. Do we have a second? Second. second. <laughs> Discussion? Roll call on the purchase order, please. Trustee Forsley. Yes. Trustee Martins. Yes. Trustee Fidesco. Yes. Trustee Seneca. Yes. Trustee Clavenau. Yes. Trustee Fleming. Yes. Okay. Now, unless there's something additional forthcoming from the board, I would entertain a motion to go into executive session as requested by the village manager and the village attorney regarding personnel and land acquisition. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Forsley. Yes. Trustee Fidesco. Yes. Trustee Martins. Yes. Trustee Fleming. Yes. Trustee Seneca. Yes. Trustee Clevenel. Yes. Thank you. We are now adjourned to executive session. <laughs>